So my name is Irvin and we are the Lazy Architecture channel where we are all about uh, teaching you AutoCAD so you can save time, effort and money. So how do we achieve this, right? Um, so that when we want to preview our drawing, we simply go to our desired layout and we will be able to see uh, our final product, even line weights. You can see that I can, I'm able to even see the different type of line weights, right? Uh, and this will be applied for any layout tab. So, okay, so the way we do it is um, let's go to this other, oops, to this other drawing where we don't have this uh, feature or set this setup. Let me close this. And again, you can see uh, for this drawing, of course, my preference, uh, it's used like this and I will have to waste time doing a preview like so and see my final work. Okay, it's looking good. Uh, and then I will cancel and go to model to keep working on my drawing and so on. All right, so let's apply and let's see how we can um, set this up so we can have the final uh, product uh, on a preview automatically, right? On each uh, layout tab. All right, so the way we do it is uh, in four different steps. The steps are very simple. Um, so let's start with step number one. Step number one to view your layout tab as a print preview is by right clicking on your uh, layout tab over here. So let's do a right click and we will have the option of page setup manager. All right. So once we select that option this option of course is to uh, set uh, some settings regarding this uh, digital paper size in this call in this uh, also called layout or paper space um, so yeah so over here i already set up that it's gonna be a pdf a plot size the size is gonna be 24 by 36 inches and so on but I'm going to modify it over here by clicking the modify option. So again, here you can set up uh, or pick the different settings for your print preview. So again, PDF, that's fine. 24 by 36, that's fine. Again, this is based on your personal preferences, right? Extends, that's fine. Center scale one to one. So it has the, the true scale. A scale line width, that's important. That's my CTV file. If you have one, you can pick it there. But this, the important part of the step one is that you need to check the display plot styles. So once you check that, um, this will, uh, if you hover on it, it says controls whether the properties of plot styles assigned to objects are displayed on the screen. So in, in, uh, to summarize this is whatever uh, plot style we pick here is going to reflect on the layout tab. So that's what we want, right? So let's simply check that and click OK, like so. And then finally, we can say close. All right. So, so far, that was the step number one. Um, so, and we see a big difference, right? But we're not still there. We need uh, some extra steps. So we finished the first step and we said that we're gonna need four steps to, uh, to view any of our layout tabs as a print preview. So the first step that we did, you can see uh, that we have a big difference, but let's do the second step, which is changing the background color of our digital sheet uh, and the way we do it is gonna be using the options so let's type that out options um, once we do that we're gonna have of course this options dialog box in AutoCAD and over here where we need to go is 
for on the display tab and then colors all right so once we do that you can see that the sheet or layout uh, right now that we are in uh, has this specific color what we need is to change it to white all right so that's all we need here so we can click apply and close so look what happened now let me click ok and boom you can see that uh, we have um, now we are closer to what we're looking for which is see our layout as a print preview however we're not ready uh, there yet why let me show you so we can see that the line weights are not actually showing um, how they're supposed to be uh, so basically if we go to model space you can see that i have these uh, on color blue which means i want them to print very dark because this is in front of the building right it's closer to us to the uh, to the view so but that's not reflecting as darker over here it's basically the same line weight so that's where we need the step number three and the step number three uh, again is to uh, see the different line weights and for that we're gonna use the uh, following command or system variable sorry l w and display so that's the system variable that we need to use line weight displayed and once we use it we will have the option right now you can see is set to off but if we say on and press enter you're gonna see a big difference over here so let's take a look enter and boom you can see how now the line weights really reflect how the final product is gonna be right so that's what we're looking for but we still have a small issue here and that's what the uh, step number four is gonna fix which is um you can see over here that the layers that are on a non-plot they're not supposed to show up right so look look over here we are seeing this uh, viewport and also this text that it's on model space right this text over here so but in reality if we do a print preview let me do it so you can see the difference so preview that's the shortcut you can see that my final product is not gonna reflect that note neither that viewport on this corner so then why i'm seeing it right i'm not supposed to have it but that's what the fourth step is gonna fix so um let's do a step number four which is how to handle um, non-plot layers, right? Such as the death point. So the way we can fix this uh, is by changing the color of the non-plot layer. In this case, I use death points. So change the color on the ribbon by, by selecting this color icon. And there, there are two options, right? We can either change it to white through color and click ok and this will be able to uh, see actually or not see the layers that are not gonna be uh, layers that are gonna print like like this or the second option which is the option that i personally like the best which is um, changing the color again to something like gray but again true great and clicking ok and now i will be able to still see my non-plot layers but very very light so i still have it as a reference so this is my personal option but again you can pick true white for your non-plot layer and this will conclude how you can see your layout tabs as a print preview quickly